So I just thought before I organized all of this that I'd show you guys how I have everything saved. Um, so basically when I go to like the videos section of like my documents or whatever it is, I have the music here and I have like the little video um, that if you're new to the page then that's what you see. Um, added content, actually I don't even add stuff to this, but added content is stuff like the EDS um, awareness videos and like the pick stuff, which I probably should move my added content to that because I currently don't have it. So then when we go to like the vlogs, I have, they're all uh, obviously given names and for if it's just like a regular vlog, I do, you know, like vlog 5 to 18, um, so I know the date and uh, like if I'm in a situation where like I haven't uploaded for a few days, then I just do it like the last day. Like, you know, I go from 17 to 20, but then that's going to be 18, 19, and 20. So that's basically how I have it set up. And then, um, then this is each one of the videos individually. That's the program I use to edit them. And then once they're exported, this is the file that I use to upload. So, um, this I don't necessarily need because I already have this, and if I need to make the video and export again, then I can just make it from this, so this just takes up space. So I'm going to go through and delete a whole bunch of those. I'm going to switch around where the ad content stuff is, and this is kind of just regular, like, it's just messy in the first place, so I'm going to just clean, clear this up a little bit too, so it's a little bit more um, easy to look at, I guess. So, just want to show you guys. I'm just so grateful that, like, like, I'm able, you know, when, I'm, when I can wake up, I'm able to watch soccer. I'm, able, like, able to be excited about something and spend time with, um, you know, people watching it with me. And, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't gotten better. But I'm happy that I'm pushing myself through easy shifts and, um, yeah, it's not, it's not that I'm getting better, it's just that I'm looking forward to it and I want to, um, I'll be sick for a couple of days, but, you know, things are, things are okay right now for the most part, so I'm just kind of grateful for it. So I'm going to change the battery of my camera and I did two of the three essay questions so I only have one left, it's 4pm so I don't work for another four hours so I definitely need to get that question done but I'm like trying to like look it up and I can't find anything so I don't really know what's going on with that um, but the games are cool, I'm here alone just kind of waiting for them to come back and um, first, Steven, um, his brother, is to come back so I can hang out and watch a video with them. So I'm just gotta, I've gotta fit, figure out this whole question um, so I can get it done and be done for the. I'm getting ready for my shift tonight. We've run into some problems. I'm going to be infusing while I'm there just as like a safeguard so that like I'm feeling as as well as I possibly can and obviously I'm going to be taking medication before I go to, to help out with that stuff too but I didn't know about my shift until I was already here I thought I had one more bag for the lactate of ringers and I didn't Literally just found that out about 10 minutes ago. So I have like a gravity bag that I already had set up that I transferred into a pump tube and, and then into the pump and then I'll use it, but it's only half full. So it's only half of my infusion. Um, but I guess we just have to deal with that. And um, I mean, at least my bag won't be that heavy while I'm carrying it. But then the other problem is that I, since I didn't know about the shift, I didn't bring my sneakers, so I don't have sneakers, so I'm gonna wear, like, the 
Steve Madden shoes. And for long ter term use on your feet, not really the best shoes. So, running into some problems tonight. I hope this is the beginning and the end of my problems, but and if that's the beginning and end of my problems, then my problems are actually not that big of a deal. So, hopefully, everything is a little bit. Um, goes a little bit more um, smoothly tonight, but I'm excited to go. I really like the people that I work with now. It's at a different store. It's not the same people. Um, the store manager, I've said this, but the store manager is the manager that hired me like three years ago. So it's just such a good environment and it's really, really nice to hang out and like talk with everybody and everybody's very accepting. So I'm looking forward to this shift. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it for right now. I'm just getting my stuff together. I think it's... I have to be there at 8 and it's 6.30 right now and I'm going to get Starbucks before, so... I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to coffee. But I'm, I'm rationalizing it and saying, you know, I'm working. I can spend half of my uh, hourly check for coffee to get me through the like 6, 7, 8 hours that I'd be working. Um, I do this all the time with coffee, um, and I've had three cups of coffee today already, so I think I overdid it, but it's okay, because I deserve it. So I'm going to make sure I have everything together and chill for a bit and rest because, oh, because my schoolwork, um, that took a long time. Uh, the essay questions, I had to do three. The first one I thought was going, I thought all three questions were going to be like just about the same amount of difficulty. So I obviously started with the first one. The first one was by far the easiest one to do. I had to kind of BS the last one a bit. Um, and then the one in the middle, I don't, rem I don't remember what the, the middle one was actually. Yeah, I can't even remember what the middle one was. Um, but I got through it, and I'm good for the week, so. And next week will be my last week that I have to do it, and then my class will be over. Only four weeks for the class, which is amazing. But I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, so hopefully this is a good angle for you guys. Please enjoy my outfit and how I look and how red my cheeks are. I don't really know why. I just had the scariest thing happen to me, so it might be from that, but I thought I recovered from it. Because it happened like a while ago now, like an hour ago. So I don't know if it's just because it's hot. I took a cold shower, like a ice cold shower, and it felt so good. And now I'm so hot, but the air conditioning downstairs is really good. So when I actually go to sleep, I'll be good. Um, so I worked a great shift. Um, I absolutely adore everybody I work with. Everybody is just so like kind and I come in and it's like a small store pretty much. Um, but I come in and just get like greeted with hugs and like there's just like genuine like um, affection between everybody and it's just like it's so nice and it's such a good environment to work in and like my the, the store I worked at last where I was a manager was just awful just terrible environment it was terrible um, so I'm really appreciative of the type of environment I'm in now even though it's only twice a month um, so the shift itself went, it went well um, you know I, I infused while I was there I took me pain meds to write, or I took one right before I left and then another one while I was there and um, I got through it. Everything was perfectly fine. I was just catching up with one of the managers and just was hearing about the things that have kind of gone on over the past six weeks that, you know, like I haven't seen them. Yeah, so the shift went great. I'm going to be going back on Thursday um, to do another one, although the next one's going to be long. Um, and. Yeah, I worked um, like 7.30 to 12.30, um, so like five hours, which is a good amount of time. I'll probably be a little bit more on Thursday, but I'm fine with that. Um, I love doing this type of stuff. I don't have to talk to customers. It's just like you get 
like a design sheet of how everything is supposed like a layout sheet the way that like the props are supposed to like be um like put together and then and then it shows you like where to put the product and how to set it up and stuff so it's really easy it's just kind of like making tables like literally that's what it is it's making tables um and i'm sorry my face is like so hot um i don't know why my face is on fire it hurts um anyway so it was great everything was fine um, I found out about a few pre like pretty crazy things. One of the associates that we kind of thought was a bit sketchy was actually stealing um, from the store. I don't know really if I should talk about that at all on this, but he was stealing um, and he got caught. But yeah, the shift was great. And then I didn't take an Uber to get there. Adrian's brother Steven dropped me off. And then Steven was going to pick me up um, if nobody else could give me a ride home, but one of the managers, the assistant store manager, gave me um, a ride home. And we were sitting in the car in front of Adrian's house, and we were just talking because she was catching me up on all this stuff that happened. And yeah, we were just talking about stuff in general. And we were there for a little while, like maybe 20 minutes, we were just talking. and then. Like 15 minutes in, there was this car that pulled up, and we were pulled over to the side with our lights on. And there was a car that pulled up. Adrian's house is on this side of the street, we're on the other side. And there was a car that pulled up here, like facing the other way, with its lights on, and they stayed there for a while. And I was like a little sketched out by it, but I was like, okay, you know, it's probably not a big deal, whatever. And then they slowly pulled out and like slowly like scooted up next to us and were looking at us like straight on all, like all three of the guys in the car and then they they passed us but then they backed up and when they were backing up they did it really slowly and they were putting down their windows and they were trying to talk to us so i you know we locked our doors and we just sped off to to lose them and because obviously we didn't want them knowing where i'm staying um And we ended up losing them. She brought me back. We passed by twice to make sure that they weren't there, but it was just really scary. Um, I didn't know what to do. I kind of freaked out. Um, so I called Steven and Steven, like I got inside and he was here and it was good. Like his mom is back from going to the Poconos. So like, I'm safe, I'm perfectly fine. And then I went downstairs to just tell Adrian I was home before I went upstairs to shower and he like freaked out and like yelled at me but as soon as he yelled at me he like he was asleep so I was like are you okay and he just wasn't answering me so hopefully he doesn't remember that happening um but I'm gonna try to eat something I already took my meds so hopefully I'll be going to sleep soon just as a warning I'm gonna be in a ton of pain tomorrow so I do have something exciting to talk to you guys about that I wanted to save until tomorrow but there's my update about today I had more of an interesting day than I really would like to have had, but today was a good day, so low pain and decent day, so I have nothing to complain about today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, um, and thanks for watching.